Morning, folks. Morning. Now, today's Tuesday, and uh, we've got. Oops. What are you doing? Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're not going to believe it. <laughs> oh, look, I bruised my oh. hand. God, you can't believe it. Keys fell down. The narrowest slot in. Between uh, seat and console in the middle. Yeah. They had to go round back at seat and crawl underneath to get it. Had to take all the seats out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very difficult. I couldn't get the hand down there. Now, where were I? Oh. I said, we're going back on Thursday and it's now Tuesday. Yeah. Now, we're, we're back. Really, the holiday's finished. Because mm. we're back here in Campen where we... Where more we or less we more or less started from, didn't we? Mm. Um, uh, that the last hotel we had no eating on in the room. We couldn't get the radiators to come on at all, so that was a bit nippy this morning. Um, but I mean, staff were all, uh, nice. It it were all right what hotel, but mm. the, it, the, these hotels I don't like hotels. They the the people that were staying mainly seemed to be work people getting up at crack of dawn and they're just so noisy the the the, the walls must be like blooming paper you can oh, hear oh, them could hear were, was like scraping chairs on the floor yeah i don't know what well, i think it what wardrobe doors wardrobe doors were right made a right noise. racket yeah um but um, I slept all right. Yeah, I did actually. I didn't wake up until no, I only got well, up I got once. I did wake up because they they were getting up at six o'clock. Yeah, but to go and have I breakfast. I got up once and uh, thought I were on an obstacle course. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was dark. It, it was very dark in the room. The curtains did their job mm. on that big window. Mm. Um. And I don't put light on because I don't want to wake Trevor up. So I'm feeling my way around. And at the bottom of bed, we'd put the stand and the case on top. And then on the opposite side were two chairs. And Trevor had put his bag on one chair so it were pulled out. And the other chair had, into a lot of detail. had your clothes on, didn't it? Yeah. And when I were coming back, I'm working my way along these chairs. And I'm following big long console and I ended up in corner banging my head on standing lamp. <laughs> I'm not aware am I? <laughs> oh dear. Well I never heard any of that. You never heard me no. trying to work my way no, around that one. I didn't know. Right. I must so have been hard on. Oh. Yeah. Um, oh I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't work me. I only got up that <sighs> once which is quite amazing really. Yeah. For me. How would you how would you sum up this holiday then, Pat? Um, I've enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, we've done quite a bit of driving, but I don't mind that. Um, and um, the breakfast were more of a muchness. I missed the chopped fruit again this morning. Mm. Some of the hotels do it, and some don't. Um, and what else? Uh, the, the, the different in, in it, I mean, the last one we stayed in was high quality. You had everything you wanted there. You couldn't have asked for any more, could you? No. Um, you know, dressing gowns, sweets, coffees, fridge was, oops, had things in. Um, whereas this one, there were no sweets. No, no coffee maker, just a kettle for tea. Um, it was a bit basic, wasn't yeah, it? In yeah, home. yeah. A bit tidy and, yeah. you know. Um, and the last one, the last hotel, she even provided little boxes. And they had um, ear, ear cleaners, you know, and little cotton, cotton pads and um, a nail file. Which one was that? 
the um the one where uh, we arrived and you had to ring her <clears throat> yeah i had to ring her yeah from outside we <gasps> oh yeah, yeah there the yeah nice one. yeah yeah very nice it, yeah it was it, top, everything top, were top draw in there, top yeah. draw but it did cost us yeah when you yeah. when you when you think yeah. If you if you think about it, I mean, you book an hotel and they can range anything from sixty to ninety quid. But you you've got to have then add on your breakfast, mm. and some of them are anything from thirty to forty quid for two of you. And if you're gonna stay for an evening meal, mm. you're gonna spend another fifty quid. Yeah. So. You know, all in all, you're talking about 150 to 180 pound a night, really, yeah. aren't you? Really, yeah. and you know, we're I mean, we were nearly 200, weren't we? Um, what that that one you're talking about, where I had to ring her, I think it were 180 yeah. summer for that, and yeah. it, and I didn't have a meal. No, you didn't, did you? You had soup. And... I, all I had was soup in there for an evening meal. Mm. Um. Because I won't feeling up to it. No, you were a bit. Yeah. Dodgy that day, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, we're all. It were an awful day. What we mm. one. What we one thing and another. Um. So, I, I just think it's been a lot of expense. Yeah, it has been a lot of. Expense. And I'd say not worth it. That's my, my conclusion is it's not worth it. Mm. What it cost. Right. Um, but having said that. I wanted to go to Wormansburg. I wanted to go to uh, uh, Belsum. I wanted to go to the camp. I just wanted to go back. Yeah. Um, we've never been abroad since 1969. I mean, I know in 1985 I worked in France for six months, mm. but that wasn't an holiday. I was just I was working, but so we've never ever had an holiday abroad. And me and Pat, no. since we've been married, not since we come back from Germany. Um, so, you know, we've not exactly, we've not exactly been spendthrifts over his life. Yeah, going abroad on aeroplanes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the first time we've been on on an yeah. aeroplane since 1969. And we were saying yesterday we've only had one, one and a half days of. Sunshine. Sun. Um, one day we could walk around without a skirt on. One day, yeah. Um, mm. And it was lovely. And I thought, oh, if it stays like this, we'll be really happy. But yeah. it didn't, did it? It rained again. Yeah. So it rained sometimes, either during night, during day, and it were rather dull, a bit dull. I, like th it I is think today. we've been lucky. Um, not we haven't got wet through. We haven't every been day. wet through. No. Um, so in a way, it, it, the weather's not been brilliant, but you can't expect. Well, it yesterday it rained on us. It, it it did, but we we didn't film the park when no. we were in that town. Um, yesterday where we filmed, a very big town, big. Yeah, some nice buildings. Lovely buildings in, the... in there, lovely architecture. Yeah. Well, there was a park in there, but it it rained and it, it wasn't very nice. No. Um, so we never, I never filmed that. Mm. Uh, but o other than that, we've we've got away with it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I filmed this town. I filmed it on the day. Uh, on us, we stayed. We're gonna go back to that hotel of the, the first, first hotel we stayed in. We're going back there tonight, and tomorrow. We're going to go back to Amsterdam, to the airport. I'm going to hand the car in a day early because we're flying in the morning. And I want, I don't, it's a massive airport. I've no idea where the check-in is. I'm really dreading going through the check-in process on my phone because our Tracy had to do it for us to leave it. But... I just couldn't do it. So I'm really dreading that. Mm. Um, tomorrow, I can't do it until tomorrow. 
after half past ten tomorrow. Well, I don't know. I hope I can do it. Um, and then we'll see how where all checking is, and then we're gonna. The Ibis have got a hotel in Amsterdam which provides a shuttle, so we should be able to get a bus there to the hotel and back to the airport in the morning on Thursday morning. So that's the plan. And if that, if this holiday is out to go by, there could none of our plans. Um, went smoothly mm. so we'll, we'll have to wait and see yeah so that's it so we're going to have a walk around here before we go back to yon hotel um if i see out any different i'll film it otherwise i won't all right folks <laughs> see you later bye, bye. this is this scrap metal on that boat there apparently does it come from Germany? Are they taking it to no, Germany? It comes, from, it comes from, Germany. from Germany. That scrap metal. I don't know where they're taking it. I'm talking to a chap who comes from Manchester. And he lives here. He's, been li he's lived here 40 years. I'm working on these boats. There's going to be a big party here, a week, a, a, not this coming weekend, following weekend. I don't know what it's, it's all on about. The sailboats and, for um, sail boats. Oh, for just a minute, Pat. It's on a. Full of sail boats. Right. And um, tents. Roy. Ahoy there. <laughs> Ahoy, Roy Dixon. <laughs> this is Roy from from Manchester, oh, but. From from Whitefield, near, near Bury, like, you know, right, right close to Bury. <laughs> this is my daughter. I, I, had, I had this last for uh, 32 years. I've sold it out. And, uh, this uh, boat, this is, this boat, I don't know anything about boats. I've, I've got a viewer called Graham, and he, he's mad on boats. He'll know. But this is the equivalent of a vintage... 124 years old. 124 years old, this 18 boat. 18 tonnes of oak. 18 tonnes. Gaff, gaff rig. They're very easy to sail. And... Uh, yeah. Let's go, let's come to back here and I'll film yeah, film. Yeah. Let's have a look. There's Pat sat on a bench on shore. Yeah. <laughs> I've got I've got an A-frame there at the front. So I'm gonna drop the mast to, to, to go on the key side here. Uh, we have to do some maintenance, we have to change some gangplanks and some frames inside. Lots of work and you you, you never stop working. It's a brilliant boat. I've just I've just been inside. I'll take you inside. Have a look. <laughs> Have a look inside. It looks a mess because I'm, uh, it's winter. It's warm though. It's warm because I've, I've, I've got a nice little ventilator heater. And here's where we drop the mast. Yeah, you drop your mast down. Down there, take these. That's it. I'll take this off here. These, and then the mast that will come inside comes comes up and rests on this here. No, 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 it doesn't rest on there. No, 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 no it, it rests on the back. I've got right. a bracket at the back. Right. It, uh, because oh, it, okay. it weighs a thousand kilo that mast. I, I bet it does. It, uh... It's been really interesting, Roy. Yeah. Well. Uh, and I, I really appreciate you showing us this boat. I don't know anything about them. There used to be two and a half thousand of the boats, and now there are only uh, 65 of them left. So it's like holding 65. a vintage car. Yeah. It's a museum. It's a, a part of the Dutch sailing heritage. And how many uh, do you reckon that there are left in Holland? There are only about 65 of them left. Right. In Holland, in all Holland, in Holland. In all in Holland. Right. And there used to be hundreds of them. This is a Marrakan. This, so is, this is a quarter of the harbour in Marrakan. In, 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 this is the same boat, the GT13, this one is. And it, what used to be the first fishermen were Case and Pete Apple from Marrakan. And uh, there used to be 200 of these boats in Marrakan, wow. close to Volendam. Right. And Marrakan, now there, there's no boat, none of these boats in Marrakan. Wow. And that were in 1900? And... This is 1900 or 1901. Right. Because this house is now with the shipping museum in Arnhem. Arnhem. Yeah, they have an open air museum in Arnhem and that house moved in 1901 to Arnhem. Wow. So that's how they can date this picture. 
And this boat is new because it has white sails. You can see these sails are white. The first year they'd had them white and then they'd tan them all brown. All oh, right. How did they tan the them? They tan them in a bath with, yeah. with a, a special uh, recipe of a uh, sheep fat. Uh, right. Oh, that, they, why? Why did they do it? To preserve it. From oh, what, right. To stop the sails rotting okay. with, the, with the rain right. and fresh water. Fantastic. I mean, look at the wood on this. Yeah, it's absolutely it's, uh, gorgeous. Yeah. What is it? What is it made from? It's that? made from oak. Oak. It is oak. It, it's a uh, ninety-nine percent uh, oak. I've cheated right. a few times and used some teak. These are old lab tape tables from Axo, Axo Noble. I worked for them for thirty-two years as an engineer. So uh, I've replaced everything. Steel pens, net nails. I made myself. You 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 played in a band as well. I played in a band. I've uh, I've been singing and uh, it's like a. Have you ever request something you'd like to hear? I, I play all sorts of music. You do, uh, but the she sea shanties aren't they? Yes, yes, I, I do sea shanties, and uh, uh, well, I, I'll say one Monday morning in the month of May. One Monday morning in the month of May. It's Monday morning, by the way. I thought I heard the old man say, The Rosabella will sail today. I'm going on board the Rosabella. I'm going on board the Rosabella. I'm going on board right down to the port. The salty Rosabella. She's a deep water ship with a deep water crew. She's a deep water ship with a deep water crew. You can sail around the coast, but we're born if we do. On board the Rosabella. I'm going on board the Rosabella. I'm going on board the Rosabella. I'm going on board right down to the port. The saucy Rosa Bella. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just filming the outside. You can see the boat from the outside now as Roy stood on it. And there's a neighbour. This one sunk the end of last year. Oh. We had to... Uh, it looks a bit... We had to... Uh, pump him out. Pull, pull her up. Pump How? him out. The extra pumps and things to get her up. How long was it? How long was it underwater? It was underwater for one and a half days. Right. And then, then we got some tackles. We got two boats at the back. We put a, 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 a big strop under her. Right. With two winches, tackles. Yeah. And we pulled up at the back with, a, with an enormous pump. We got this enormous pump on the, on the key side. A, a big pump like the, like the fireman had. And uh, pumped her out. Got her, erased her up. And uh, she's going to go on the key side next week. When I, when I go out of the water here, I will go in the shipyard where we were, and this one will go... Uh, right. Has it got a hole in it then? Has it got a hole in it? Yes, yes, they're, 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 these boats are always weeping, they're always right. weeping. Right, right. Mm. Yes, okay, well, thank, thank you, Roy. Right. Thank you, nice thank to have met you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. The world is small, we'll meet again. <laughs> <laughs> but I know we'll meet again some sunny day. Bye 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 Oh, we got booked in. There's the hotel over there. Um, the Postillion. We stayed here the first night we arrived. Um, and there's the marina at the side of it. Thought I'd just come for a wander around. Pat's in the room having a read. <laughs> <laughs>